What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a different type of video here and uh, all these toys are here for a reason because I'm going to be explaining how a network works in the most basic way possible in this video. I'm going to be building off of this video. I'm going to start a series of my channels uh, for networking. Um, we have cybersecurity stuff on there already and some uh, cloud technology stuff and minor networking stuff, but I'm going to start a networking uh, playlist on my channel. I'm a uh, I went to school for computer networking, and uh, I think I can explain networks in a simple way. And uh, from this video, I'm going to be making other videos when it comes to networks. But in this video alone, I'm just going to break down the bare basic how a actual network works and uh, how your data travels. And uh, just, I'm just going to do it in a simple way so you can gain an understanding. And once we get that understanding, in the next video, we'll dive a little deeper about how it does what it does. Okay, so I'm gonna break down the bare bones and how a network works and how your data gets sent and your requests get sent and how it gets back to your device. So this is a very bare, basic explanation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick demonstration of how something like this works. So for right now, let's say I'm on my home computer and I say that my, I say I wanna look up things about coal, right? Just anything about coal. I send my request to Google, but to get to Google, I have to go through my network. So here's my data. This car represents a data request of what we want. It's going to hit our router. Now, this cloud represents the big world cloud web, right? This is the internet over here. So right in between this, you have your, keep in mind, you have your ISP. So this, you have a dedicated IP address. We'll get into that in another video. But your request is going to hit your router. And then from there, it's going to send it out to the big, big world wide web. From there, it's going to bounce around to a whole bunch of places and different roads till it finally says, all right, we'll get you to where you need to go. You finally get to where you need to go, right? Now, this all happens in the web. From there, you're hitting networks on top of networks, and you're bouncing off of things until you get to the destination, which is here. This is the full um, request that you want. You finally get there. You get the request you want. So now we have the request. So now we got to travel all the way back. So then your data from the server over here goes to the big world wide web, right? It goes bounce around networks. On the world of internet web is just a whole bunch of networks connected to one another. It's just one giant road system, if you want to put it in that way. And it's just connecting to one thing to another, just like how you go to the grocery store, how you go on multiple roads to get to the grocery store. That's basically how the internet works. And eventually you're going to get all the way back to your house. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to go to your router. And from your router, it's going to recognize that this red car belongs to that device. So it's like, all right, we're gonna send what they wanted back to them to send that information back to your computer. And boom, now you finally got the request. Now you search Google, you clicked on that link, and now it's finally here. The thing that you requested is here. And then now it loads up on your computer, coal, everything about coal from the website. So that's a very basic understanding on how your request gets sent. Now, there's tons of stuff that happens. It's not just magic like that, but that's the bare minimum understanding on how a request goes out to the internet and it comes back to you. So every time you click on something, all this has to happen for a page to pop up on your computer. It's not something that's preloaded that you already have. It has to go through all this craziness to get back to your computer. So think about that next time you get upset and frustrated. Oh, why is it taking so long? It's taking more than three seconds for me to get the website to pop up. There's a lot of stuff happening here. I mean, there could be miles and miles. This server could be located maybe maybe even a different country, right? And then it's going to travel all the way back to here to your house and your country and come all the way back to your computer. So keep that in mind. There's a lot of magic that happens uh, behind the scenes here. But we'll, we'll break into that more in detail in other videos. Um, I want to start building off from the foundation up. So that's a bare understanding on how that works. So now I have another computer here. So while we're talking about bare basic stuff, your home network is just multiple devices connected to your router. Now, if you're using Wi-Fi, just imagine that this road is gone. So let's get rid of this road, right? Okay. This is still connected to the router because you have a wireless, you have an invisible road, right? This is an Ethernet cord, right? We have an Ethernet cord plugged in directly to your router, right? This plugs directly in, just like how my PlayStation over here. Uh, there it is. So here's the Ethernet cord. This directly plugs into my router. So imagine that they have a cord plugged in directly to the router. Now you have devices like my cell phone, 
for example, or your laptop that has a Wi-Fi, it supports Wi-Fi, most laptops do, has an invisible connection going here to here. So it travels using radio waves and radio frequencies. We'll get into that in another video, but keep in mind that just because there's not a physical connection, there is one to this router. Um, there's usually a password, there's some kind of safety uh, protocol on here that makes it so you can access this. And we'll get into more of that stuff in other videos, but keep in mind that just because something's not connected to your router doesn't mean that it's not connected to your router. So keep in mind you have wireless connections. There's two different types, wireless, and you have hardwired. Um, I think it's still at a point in time where having a direct connection sometimes is better. Um, transferring things wirelessly, um, there's a lot of interference that could happen. Um, there could be loss. Um, there's other things that could happen. But the protocols nowadays, like Wi-Fi 6E uh, and 7 and even 5 is pretty good now where you can send data pretty good now and at the speeds and the reliability is getting better and better each day as the Wi-Fi generations get better and better. Um, so it's stuff like having an internet connection direct connected over a Wi-Fi connection, it varies. Keep in mind location of your upstairs or downstairs. We'll get into that in another video. But keep in mind that this, there's all variables that matter with networks. So like everything's pretty touchy, but once you know it, it's pretty simple. So it's like, it's easy and it's not easy. And then until you know it, and then like, oh, wow, it is pretty easy. So, so keep in mind to go over what we learned earlier. So when you want to request, so again, we, we want to Google coal again, because maybe we want to be billionaires one day and get in coal mining or something. I don't know. Maybe there's some reason why you're looking up coal, right? Maybe you want a new heating source for your house. I don't know how, what you want, but this is your red car and this computer has a yellow car. So this kind of, this kind of identifying um, this computer and this identifying that computer. So I can reach the router wirelessly. So I don't really need a, a hardwired road to get to it. But I'm going to also, I'm going to also want to look up coal on this computer now. I don't want to look up coal on that computer. I want to look up coal on this computer. So I take my request wirelessly. There's an underneath a road. It hits here the same way it would if I requested it from a, a landline, a, la uh, a land cable here. Send the request just like this over wireless internet. It's going to hit your router, go out into the big world wide web, travel on all types of roads and all things, and then finally get to its destination. It's going to get, get onto their router. Their router is going to send you to what you want. You're going to grab this data, go back. That router is going to send you back. You're going to go back. You're going to hit here. And now this car, the router knows that this request, this car belongs to this device. So it's going to send it back to this device. And then boom, now your page loads up with your coal information. So that's a little different than we had earlier. I mean, it's only a wire, it's a wireless connection, but the same thing happened. So different medium. So one's wireless and one's not, but you still get the same result. And you're going to find that a lot in these networking videos that you're going to see a lot of repetitiveness. Like, oh, that's kind of like this. Or this is kind of like that. Everything kind of works the same. So that's why it gets easier. So once you start uh, getting understanding of these basic fundamentals of networking, it gets just easier and easier. It gets more complex, but it'll become easier and easier because you'll start to understand, oh, that, that. so it's like that thing that I learned a while back. It's just like that. Yes, it, it's no networking is going to probably going to stay the same for a long time because it just works. They might tweak little things here and there, but it's not going to be like how you go from Windows XP to Windows 11, like how dramatic that changed. Like networking is pretty much going to stay the same. We're still using the old basic stuff for 90% of it. Um, and uh, I just, I think I'm going to start, I'm going to try really hard to make these educational videos as simple to understand as possible. And I'll build off of these. So again, this video, we covered a simple request out to the web coming back. And we'll get into greater details, like what IP addresses are, what's a MAC address, um, how does it know, how, how does a router know what is what. Um, for this video, I just wanted you to get the basic understanding. The, I just wanted you to see how it works, basically. So, all right, that's going to be it for this video. So uh, let me know if you guys really like this kind of stuff, um, these kind of visuals where like it's kind of like comfortable and laid-back environment. Because, again, I want you guys to grasp a good understanding of this, especially the base stuff. So when we go into the greater detail stuff later on, it'll be more comfortable for you to understand. So, all right. Thank you very much for coming to this video. Uh, remember, safety is illusion. That's the, that's the theme on this channel. We do also do cybersecurity. Um, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.